Welcome back to the podcast, No Decorum. My name is Daniel. I'm AJ. And today, let's start with election fraud. All right, let's uh, let's talk about it. All right, you want to talk about the whistleblower? Yes, uh, the guy at the USPS. Mm-hmm. He, the guy that claimed uh, there was a uh, backdating going on with the uh, election ballots. Okay. And uh, he has recanted his story. He said uh, that uh, that didn't happen. It didn't happen. No. Did he say what motivated him to say that it did happen? Um, I don't think he uh, he said it out loud, but his uh, obvious motivation was to support Trump. Well, clearly he's a red-blooded patriotic American. Who was concerned about the outcome of the election, uh, concerned about a Biden presidency. He was basically doing his patriotic duty, wouldn't you say? Uh, uh, yeah, he was, uh, he was trying to make sure that all the election, uh, you know, has his integrity and uh, all the votes are counted for Trump. For Trump, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, so. I just, saw, I just saw were clear, the, um, the fraud was going, uh, the Democrats were doing the fraud, right? That's what his initial claim was. Yes, it was uh, uh, it was the Democrats. Uh, they were stuffing the ballots, okay. uh, actually filling out the mail-in uh, ballots oh. for Biden, and they were all dropped off around three o'clock in the morning. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's one story. Um, I'm sure you can, there's many more like that. Um, there was a uh, on Laura Ingram's show on Fox News. She had a guest on who was maybe a, a pollster or a election official who said that uh, she had seen, seen some illegal activity. And Laura Ingram had to, you know, black out her face and change her voice for security purposes, even though there were no threats to her life, you know. Uh. <laughs> and no one would know who she was anyway. But, um, yeah, we're seeing these random claims come out from Well, I mean, uh, it's kind of hard to uh, disprove uh, if you can't see the face. That's right. I mean, you have no idea who's, who they're talking about, who, who is this person. Nobody knows. And it's hard to disprove when there's no evidence. Yeah. And none of which has been presented to the courts as of yet. So this is what we've had, what, 10 lawsuits uh, thrown out? Uh, I think so. I think so far. Yeah. Uh, Every single one of them. And these are Republican judges who are throwing these uh, cases out. (laughs) Even they (laughs) recognize uh, nonsense when they see it, right? From their own side. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, you've got to try every trick in the book. To uh, skew the results your way when you can't win in a fair manner. Uh, this is fair, I think. Well, oh. okay. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> certainly the certainly the uh, the avenue you know that they're pursuing to I, I don't know to investigate this. That's that's perfectly normal. Their motivation is not normal. Well, they are. All the people are saying it. More than you know, most of them are saying it. They all, these are all tremendous people. Yeah. So because you know you hire the best people. Uh, these are the best people in the swamp. <laughs> 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 so relatively speaking, uh, yeah. yeah, they're the best people. Sure. Yeah, I mean, the pool that he had to pick from, yeah, these were the best, best of the best. Well, and that's what happens. Yeah. By going against his instincts, saying that he would not, he would drain the swamp, and in fact, he increased the population. All right. Uh, well, you know, he drained uh, all the good people out of there. Well, according to him, they were bad people because they were trying to keep us safe yeah. from the virus. And they questioned him. Yeah. They challenged him. It's not to be done. No. Which is why Mark Esper was um, fired. Yeah, um, Mark Esper, you know, he he didn't want to use military inside the United States. I don't know why. Imagine that. I mean... For protesters, uh, huh? and, uh, for protesters, or to overturn the elections, I guess. And he, I think he said it publicly that it wasn't yeah. going to happen. I- isn't there a law against that too? To use a uh, military inside the United States without having a, you know, some sort of an emergency. Yeah, we'll put it in the um, uh, video later. Yeah, we'll find out. Well, we only want to, uh, you know, we want to have factual statements here. Yeah, I am. so. I mean, he also didn't want to pull back from uh, Afghanistan 
Mm, I, see. Uh, I mean, that was also a point of contentious right there. Well, I think most people in the cabinet don't want to pull out of Afghanistan. Uh, yeah, I mean, we know that uh, because uh, these people are employed by uh, military industrial complex after mm-hmm. after this job, so they cannot uh, upset their em- future employers. That's right, and that there, there will be the future employees for sure <laughs> once this comes to an end. Um, yeah, I think they're they're doing what's in their self interest. Um, I mean, they. I mean, these are job creation, a job, uh, jobs program. So to keep these going, you have to keep the wars going. Otherwise, well, they you have no reason to build more stuff. So I've been told that the government doesn't create jobs, AJ. Well, uh, go- government doesn't create certain type of jobs. <laughs> they certainly create jobs, don't they? Yeah, I mean, they government is the biggest employer in the United States. And there you go. Yeah. There's the truth of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. I mean, who else buys F-16s? Yeah. I, I don't see anybody else, uh, you know, besides U.S. government buying it. Or, you know, there are other governments in the world that buy F-16s. I mean, I'm sure. It doesn't fit in my driveway, so. No, it doesn't. There's certain I mean, codes in my city that doesn't allow me to have an F-16 in my. So, you know. Yeah. Uh, my bank account doesn't allow me. <laughs> I'd like to have one, but, you know. And, and that is a testament to the fraud and abuse <laughs> in this country that I can't afford an F-16. <laughs> well, we Everybody should have a right to own a fighter jet. You well, know? I mean, just, just use Republican language. You have, the, you have access. Oh, you have access. I do? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Whether you can afford it or not, it's another story. Yeah, I mean, that is the thing. So, there you go.